Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Today, we're going to go back, way, way back, 556, to the city, the blessed city of Mecca. A woman was born by the name of Khadija. And why we are mentioning her now, more than 1,500 years later, there's something special about her. In fact, more than one special thing about her that we all need men and women to look into deep and see what made her a builder of a nation. Interestingly, as a woman, we don't even know how she looks like, how tall, skin color, what was her hair looks like, but we all know the following. In all the books will tell you that. She was a businesswoman. She was a woman of honor. She was a woman of her word, support, and character. And her life started even before she married the Rasul She was married before, she had children, but she was widowed. Many men really wanted to marry her. Noble, wealthy, businesswoman, very unique lineage, but she declined. However, after she dealt with the Rasul in the famous history, a story where she used him to take care of her business. And when he came back, and after the, they dealt, or he and she dealt with business, she came to know him. And now she decided she wanted to marry this man for only one reason. And there is way many reasons to marry Rasul But for her at that time was a noble man, a trustworthy man. And he was not rich, alayhi salatu Then, another obstacle. She was older than him. But for her was not an issue, and for sure for him was not an issue. The only issue he had, that she is rich and she may not want him. But she did. And in fact, she sent someone to him and saying, why are you not married yet? And honesty. And he said, I just can't afford it. And she said, how about if we'll get you someone who will not worry about the money or the cost, if you want to use the word. And he said, I have no problem with that. Who is she? And then she told him to say to Khadija. And he married her. Alayhi salatu He was 25 years old. She was above 40. I always ask myself, every one of us, after 50, 100 years, 200 years from now, how people will remember us, if they remember us. And look at the following narrations said by more than one Sahabi, one companion about her. Sayyidina Ali reported that the best woman in their time was two. Sayyida Maryam was the best in her time, and Sayyida Khadija was the best in her time, not only in dunya, but in akhirah. You always wonder, what will make me and you the best person, a man or a woman, of my time, let alone a thousand years later, and most importantly in Jannah? There has to be something special that makes me that special. Now, not only the best person or the best woman of Jannah, but there's something unique about her that no other human being outside the prophets had that. And this is actually in Imam al-Bukhari. And Rasul was at home, and Sayyidina Jibreel came to him. And he said to him, Sayyida Khadija is going to come and bring you a container of food and drink. And when she brings that, feel this. Tell her the following. Allah sent his greetings, and I am sending you a greetings. And give her the glad tiding of a house in Jannah from Reed. And she will not have any pain or sorrow in it. What did she do to have Allah send her a special greeting to her? So what made her so special that best woman in her time, best woman in Jannah, Allah sent her a greeting, Sayyidina Jibreel sent her a greeting, 
let's take some highlights. And the first one is a story very well known to everybody. But let's look into it deeper. So here you go. You're at your home. You come to your wife. And there's something really overwhelming you. And the response of the wife. Or vice versa. The wife comes in. And she really had something overwhelming her. And what's the response? So let's go to their house. And let's see what was it. So he comes in after the famous story in the cave. Or Sayyidina Jibreel came to him and says, read. And then he responded, I can't read. And again, read. I can't read. Read. I can't read. And finally, he told him, Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaqa. Read by the name of your Lord who created. So he come back to her. And you can imagine the feeling, the fear, the disbelief. And he comes to her and he said, something strange happened to me. And he was literally shaking and says, cover me, cover me. And then he told her the story. Now, remember, there hasn't been a prophet four years before a Rasul Allah This is not something happens every day. What was her response? That's what made her so special. When he told her, I'm so worried about myself, she said, don't worry. Have the glad tidings. By Allah, Allah will never disgrace you. Why is that? What did she see from him? And she acknowledged it right away and used it in the moment. You keep good relation with the kins, family, regardless. You take good care of them and you, you're keen to keep it. This is important for a wife and a husband. One. Number two, you're always there when people need you, especially the needy. Number three, you speak the truth. She acknowledged it. It's extremely important to acknowledge the positives of people, to give them the support. You serve the guest generously. It's all support. The uniqueness about her to build a nation, to be a builder, to bring positive influence, you need to be positive and bring the positive from people. As we journey through the life of the supporter of Rasul Alayhi Salatu we'll continue tomorrow, inshallah. Oh.